Okay, so in one of my previous videos, I was talking about why don't we use dual discs in real life? And obviously I don't mean the augmented reality dual discs. I just mean like, just, you know, normal plasticky metal dual discs. Because recently I've been teaching one of my friends incrementally how to play the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! stage by stage. And for one of the episodes, I showed him the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX series and he asked me this question. What's up with the arm things as well? What arm? The dual discs! Yeah. Do, I, do I, people actually wear that at real things? Nah, not at tournaments. You you can get them though. I used to have one, I sold it unfortunately. They're sick. They're like, oh, I don't. Can you duel them so you can put all your monsters, your spells? But you don't use them at a proper tournament? No. No. <laughs> I wonder why they don't let you do that actually. So that question got me thinking, how come we don't use dual discs at tournaments? Not even like as a novelty kind of thing, like a little special event. And then it got me asking some more questions in the video. We kind of went on a little bit of a, a rabbit hole journey where I started asking questions like, well, how can we make dual discs more accessible? Because one of the biggest problems with a dual disc is the fact that if you're, st if I'm standing here and you're standing there and I put Yu-Gi-Oh cards on here, you're not gonna be able to see what they are. So one of the solutions for something like that was to announce the card you do. Just like in the anime, I activate Pot of Greed. What does that card do? Well, it allows me to draw two new cards. And as long as you keep the Yu-Gi-Oh game simple, let's think like dual monsters kind of era, not going past really fusion monsters, I think you can get away with that. But when you have like loads of pendulum monsters on the field that have two effects and then you probably can't remember all of the cards that are on the field I can see where some issues come into place just knowing what your opponent's cards are. Now while we were spitballing ideas on how you could make a dual disc into reality we kind of started talking about Pokemon Go, how Pokemon Go was a thing and you could go around and catch Pokemon and things like that. That massive success, how come we can't do something with Yu-Gi-Oh Go? because it's all on the phone. We have something now called Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, which is basically speed dueling, and there are real world speed dueling cards and stuff. So this is my pitch idea right here. So in the last discussion video, I talked about getting something like this, a Nintendo Switch or just an iPad or something like that. Uh, maybe just having something you could strap it to your wrist and you can duel someone in the real world. Pokemon Go style Yu-Gi-Oh Go. This is a bit big, a bit cumbersome. You don't really want to be walking around with an iPad strapped to your wrist. It's kind of heavy. However, as you might have noticed throughout this video, I've been waving this thing around. This is an extreme prototype. Literally all this is is a phone stand holder so you can slip your phone inside of there. A watch that is sellotaped to this. And as well, just for like a nice little bit of padding, just so it looks kind of cool as well. Um, that is a football shin pad ankle guard. That's supposed to go in your ankle, but <clears throat> regardless. Yes, it does smell a bit stinky, but the price of a prototype. So obviously, in my reality, this would be a lot lower down, this bit here. But this is the, this is the pitch, right? Here you go. Yu-Gi-Oh! Go. So on the app, basically, it's the same as Pokemon Go. There's like a Ghostbuster game and stuff, so we know people can do other things. World map, you go around, you can find like, I don't know, uh, Battle City stadiums, um, tournament stadiums, gym leaders, but not copyright, obviously. Uh, you can battle people like that. And there's Yu-Gi-Oh! monsters in the world. And you can defeat them in single monster combat with your monster or something like that. Some way of capturing them. I'm, I'm not too fussed about this bit. But you do that and if you capture them, they become a card. And you can use that card in your deck. And what you can do is if you find another player, which you can see other players walking around, if you're in proximity with them, you can press a button and challenge them to a duel. So when you duel, it's going to be the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links format. It's going to be speed dueling uh, because that also helps promote the uh, speed dueling cards that are out in real life as well now because people want to play them in real life, I imagine. I'm just trying to give Konami some extra reasons to actually make this game. But so you see someone... You decide to challenge them, you press the button, they accept a challenge. This is all like via 3G and stuff. In fact, even better idea, make an update for Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links where you can press something in the settings that if you press a button in the corner, it switches into dual mode. And so what happens in dual mode? Well, it's very simple, really. Uh, normally you duel like flat, like this way. You have to duel this way when you play Duel Links. However, when you go to dual mode, it switches the screen to this side. So you get the field here and a card here and you can click on cards to read them, just like in that. But that allows me to do something like this. Ta-da! <laughs>
this looks terrible. It's a glorified Apple Watch, basically. Um, yes, this looks very cumbersome. It's actually not too bad. It is a bit wobbly. Uh, this is obviously a prototype. If I did it better, maybe I could have made it lower, maybe uh, more strapped to the arm so it was perfectly... What I really wanted was maybe something you could just slide your phone into and it locks into place, because that would be satisfying. It's like putting your deck in because your phone is a representation of the deck. Slide the deck in like that and you have your phone. So, so yeah, you have your uh, device strapped to your arm. You go over to say the Duel Links app and then that's perfect. You can duel via your arm. This could be like live now. This is your opponent, you're being challenged. So when this bit comes up, rather than having a field like this, it just completely goes across. Now, one of the biggest things as well, as you can see, you see how the cards like this, I would want that completely covering, so it's the entire thing of the cards. So basically, you can do this. You see what I mean? Like, it, it could be done. So, really, all I'm pitching here, just an update for Duel Links, that you press it and you can put it on its side. Uh, maybe some sort of support for the old arm here. That is much better than this shoddy piece of work that we've done here. But pretty good for my ability anyway. Along with that, we need the feature where you can go around and find other duelists in the wild. You can challenge them. Say you have been challenged by so-and-so. And then you can have factions. You can have like Obelisk Blue, Slide for Red, Ra Yellow as kind of your uh, groups. You can go around challenging people. Who does the best at the end of... Uh, the month in terms of things. So, I don't know, that's just kind of all I'm really pitching. It's such a simple idea. Just literally just give us something to strap our phones to our arms. Um, there might even be some products out there already. And you don't even have to use this. You already can duel people in the wild. Because at the moment on Duel Links, there's not really a way to challenge random people if they're playing it wherever. But they don't really have incentive to play it outside. They just play it at home, on the settee, on the toilet, wherever people play games on their phones, but if it had a outdoor aspect like Pokemon you could go around and you could find other duelists and there was incentive to do that. Uh, would it be as big as Pokemon? Probably not. I think that was like a once in a lifetime thing that happened, but maybe, maybe a thing could come of that. So yeah, to summarize what I'd like, I'd like a Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links 2 open world, um, so you can go out and find other people. A setting on the Duel Links app that allows you to put your screen this way so you can see the field and the card if you select stuff. Factions or societies that you can join. You can even have evil ones and good ones like the Society of Light, um, the Shadow Dorm, whatever that, what, what's that dorm called in GX? The, uh, the Abandoned Dorm. And then for those that want it just to be that little bit extra and maybe something that you could use at tournaments. Here's some incentives. You could have Duel Links tournaments at actual tournaments as well because people could use this and they could duel each other in a battle royale which we've been which I kind of would like to see so yeah if you give us a wrist mount that you slide your phone into locks in place can be completely customizable can have red blue yellow you know all kinds of things like that to customize it um, if you want to go a little bit extra maybe you can have all sorts of stuff I don't know but it all fits iOS and Android give me iOS because I have an iPhone uh, this, again, not the uh, most practical, but it's not too heavy as well, and that's one of the biggest problems with dual discs. So, I think that would be a good idea, because you could do that, you could take it out just for fun, you could go to tournaments, have a dual links sort of tournament there. I know the convenience of doing it all at home, but you might as well bring it out with you as well. And then you could do a thing where we've got this big warehouse, or we've booked this entire island because we're multi-millionaires. And we're just going to set you all loose on this island, go around all each other, because you can all do it on your phones like that. So this is the pitch that I wanted to go with. I hope it translated well. I'm not obviously entirely serious. Um, this is just a little bit of fun, but I don't know. There's, there's some things you probably could do with that. But yeah, the reason for this video is just to kind of get a conversation going on some ideas like that. It's a shame that we don't have dual discs in real life, because that would be fun. But because we can't have them because the technology isn't there, our options are either at the moment a uh, virtual reality kind of thing, which is in the works. I don't think anything professionally done anyway like that. Um, or even just maybe something like this. Just to sort of... Because part of the charm of Duel Monsters, the actual Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game, is sort of being like the anime. That's something that I always found really fun about it. It's... You can be a little bit dramatic, you can do some little epic draws, you can put your finger on the screen to slide the card off, uh, maybe you could slam your cards on and things like that, but I don't know, I thought that would be quite fun, 
um, just to talk about. Obviously, there's going to be some flaws to my plan. There's going to be a lot of people saying, well, that's pretty cringy, <laughs> seeing a bunch of people do that, but I, I think it's fun. So, yeah, guys, I'd love to know what you thought in the comment section below. Uh, don't take it too seriously. It's just a bit of fun. But other than that, though, guys, thank you all for watching, and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Bye, everyone.